I'm at the park right now. But instead of filming and updating you on some previous jobs that I've done, <laughs> Mr. First Tool is this hand drain snake that I got from Husky. I think it was just $15. And the first one that I had, the locking mechanism here actually didn't work. It wasn't um, stiff enough. So it was very difficult to unclog a shower drain for a client. But with this new one, this locking mechanism actually works. So once you put the little snake in, as you move further down into the drain, you lock it and then you release a little bit, lock it, and then this actually works. This coil is probably like, I don't know, an inch and a half long and it kept getting stuck. So the advice to myself when I do this again is to not panic if it's difficult to take out the last end of it, especially if you actually get whatever is clogging up the pipes. It will catch onto the coil here and it will be very difficult for you to pull the rest of the cable out. So I kind of panicked a little bit and now I started thinking about, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to pay for a licensed plumber to come here and fix my mistakes. But the cable is going to get stuck in there. Um, but I prevailed. I was patient and I tried it again, kept spinning and spinning and spinning it. I actually put more of the cable in before I try to pull it out again. Um, by wiggling it back and forth, I was able to get it out and the clog culprit was just like a tiny bit of hair. But because the pipes that they used for the shower drain was narrower than the typical two inch that I've seen, it was a little bit difficult to get that clog out. I'm gonna have a lunch break. Sushi outside on a hot summer day. most previous job that went really well was expanding door bore holes by an eighth. So the standard size for door bore is a two and one eighth now, um, but it used to be smaller. It used to be like one and three quarters or something or two inches and two inches was for this client. So first of all, before I forget, he had already removed all the doorknobs of uh, the old previous doorknobs for me but one of them the threads or not the threads the the head of the phillips was actually stripped but he was able to get out like maybe halfway so i used my needle nose pliers to kind of um unwind the screw from the side anyway so what i did and i had this I made a video about using this a long time ago. It was like my very first construction and maintenance job. And I was boring brand new doorknob holes um, into a blank door. And that was an awful experience. And I was really afraid that it was going to be like that. But I brought this and you just put two screws in the cross bore, the existing cross bore holes um, where the strike plate is. To attach this little contraption and then you're gonna measure um, with this adjustable part whether the bore the the bore for the doorknob is two and three quarters from the edge or two and three eighths you'll see here so this is adjustable if you want the circle to be on this side or this side try to line up one side of the existing hole with this and then once you do that i put a little wood dowel there as you're expanding the hole with the hole saw this contraption because it's just plastic and it's being held onto the door with just these two screws it actually could fall out so we just attach this to the hole saw like that and then this is attached onto the door and then you just go like this and go like halfway and then you um, unscrew the screws put it upside down on the other side and then goes go this way halfway halfway so you don't um, tear out the door from one side so that totally worked i did that for five um doors and it worked on every single one um I think after I did the second one on the very third door that I was trying to expand, that's when this thing kind of got loose and with I was using it without the wood dowel. 
so as it was connected to the door like this and I was drilling the whole saw through like this it kind of shifted a little bit and this plastic part unlocked itself so the crossbore went from the two and three eighths that I was using to two and three fourths like it popped out from here or from here to to here so that's why when I was watching um, doing research someone had suggested put some wood dowels right here so that it doesn't unclasp itself and adjust sizes because if if and when it does without the wood dowel your whole saw could kind of get crooked and then you might end up ripping through into a um, bigger circle which you do not want and that's it